My name is Francesca. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Francesca's World. I make videos on luxury fashion and mainly handbags. So if you like that kind of stuff, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a review. Today the handbags we're reviewing are going to be the Coach Pillow Tabby. So if you're interested, then just keep watching. All right, guys. So this right here is the Coach Pillow Tabby. This is the leather version that dropped probably at least a year or two ago and this is the version of the shirling pillow tabby that launched this year i'll give you a 360 of both of them so the bag is constructed kind of like a fendi baguette if you guys know what that is um so i'll call this a baguette style handbag and it has an uh like an opening like a tab here which has a magnetic like closure and the inside has two sections with a dividing section that does have a zipper here that you can close up. It has this little label thing here and it does come with this strap, which is actually detachable. So, which is very nice. Um, and it also comes with a crossbody strap. Now for my pink one, I, I have no idea where it is, I'm sorry. So I can't show you that on the pink one. But here's the 360 of the bag. And again, this is the leather version of the handbag. I don't know the type of leather this handbag is made of, but I'll list it on the screen somewhere. It is a very soft, like pillow-like leather, um, kind of like a Bottega bag. Uh, it's very trendy style leather right now. Um, here's the side of the handbag. I purchased this bag charm from Amazon because I'm just extra and everything has to glitter and shine for me. <laughs> um, here's the back of the handbag and then the bottom of the handbag. And I'll give you a 360 of the Sherling one as well. Here's the Sherling one. Um, this one uh, was gifted to me from my boyfriend. So thank you so much. I got this for Christmas from him. Um, this bag is made of Sherling. It's constructed the same exact way. So with this tab here, again, it's lined, leather lined on the inside. Um, has the two components and, you know, the zipper section here. So that's completely the same. Um, here is the front of the handbag. And the side, the back, the other side, which also has another bag charm from Amazon. And then the bottom. Um, the bag again has the detachable straps here for the shoulder strap. And then again, the bag comes with this crossbody strap as well, um, which is all leather. See that? It's like a light brown leather and it is also detachable, which is nice. So it can fit your, you know, you can personalize it to your shape or your size or your height. So I guess I'll start with this one. So this one's hold, since I'm holding it. This handbag, I had to look the price up because again, I told you guys I didn't purchase this one. It was gifted to me. Um, so I'll list the price here. And so that's how much this one costs. I know this one costs more than a pink one because I remember when I was wanting this bag, the reason I didn't get it is because I didn't feel like paying for that at the time. <laughs> um, so yeah, I do know it costs more than the pink one. Um, I do love this handbag and I will already say that I use this one more than I use the pink one. And I've had the pink one way longer. So I think it's because it's Sherling and I just, I don't know. I think that this one is just more, I don't know. It's more me actually, even though that one's pink, that pink is kind of weird. So I think I just like this one better for whatever reason. So yeah, I do like this one a lot more. I use this one a lot more. Um, so yeah, that's already kind of like a teaser in that situation. So pros and cons of this bag. I mean, the pros is beautiful. Um, another pro is that I love the color. <laughs> I love the color. That's, that goes along with it being beautiful. <laughs> um, 
<laughs> but anyway, I, I do think that the color makes it uh, like easier to wear though. So I guess that's why it's a pro. And the versatility of the handbag, obviously, it gives you multiple strap options. Both of the straps are detachable, so you can even wear it. Like, I don't feel like detaching them right now, but you can hold it and wear it as a clutch if that's like your style of thing. Um, and then again, it's leather lined on the inside, so that makes it a little bit more durable on the inside. Um, and I guess the only negative I have for this bag is the same reason I love it is the shirling. So of course the shirling, you have to be careful. You can't spill any juice or water on it or anything like that. So, cause I'm sure it'll affect the way it looks and it's probably not easy to wash. So that's really the only con I have. And the only other con I think I have is I noticed that if you constantly are touching this C, that it, it kind of will start to show some wear. So just be careful of where you sit that down at. And I think this C is made of leather. And again, um, I actually, again, I don't even know if I said it, but this um, hardware is gold hardware. And it does have like the coach, it says coach on like all the hardware pieces. So I think coach has really been coming up in the game when it comes to handbags, if you ask me. I think that what their quality is way nicer and they their designs are just way better than they used to be, if you ask me. So I think Coach is doing an amazing job with their um, handbags they've been releasing lately, and especially this little tabby bag. This little Coach tabby bag is so cute. It comes in all these different colors. It comes in a little baby version that's so cute. I also like the little ombre version as well. So, But when I seen this one, I wanted it so bad and I just couldn't do it at the time. So I was so happy that he got this for me and thank you so much. I appreciate it, babe. But anyway, yeah, um, I love this bag. So here's the review on that one, I guess. And I'll show you guys some mod shots and what fits inside eventually. But now we're gonna talk about the pink one. This is the pink one, looks exactly the same. Again, I got the bag charm from Amazon. Um, so the pink one is a different story for me, even though I still love the damn bag. I just don't wear this one that much. I don't know why I don't gravitate towards this pink bag. I think part of the reason is the color, and which is crazy because pink is my favorite color, but I think it's like a salmon-y pink and I don't really have a, like any salmon-y type of pinks, I guess. So uh, to me, sometimes it's just weird. I don't know. So I guess that's why I don't wear it as much. I do think adding this bag charm makes me pick it up a little bit more than I used to. Um, so yeah, um, I do love this leather though. This leather is beautiful. I will say if you have long nails like me to be careful because it does scratch a little bit too. So you got to be careful with that. And the same thing with the CC here, if you're touching this, it kind of wears, so you might need to, or you need to pull it here. That's probably what it's designed for. And of course I just be messing it up anyway, <laughs> but um that's pretty much the um the what i have to say on this one i don't know why i don't pick this one up as much anymore or not even as much i just don't pick this bag up i've had this bag for at least a year or maybe even two years and i have only worn it like three times so i, I don't know um but i do love it still i still want to keep it um i just don't gravitate to it as much as i do the shirling one so yeah, um, but it's still the same pros and cons for the most part. I guess the pro to this one is that it's leather, so it's not going to be sensitive to water. But the leather is still very, like, you know, delicate and soft, so I would still kind of be careful with it. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much the main difference. Everything else, the features, the versatility of the straps, it's all the same. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm going to show you guys what fits in a handbag and what they look like on and then we'll be back. So again, I'm about five foot four, 225 pounds. So this is what the bag looks like. Here, I'll do crossbody first. So I have the bag on the almost the last notch of of the straps or whatever. And this is what it looks like on me crossbody. So I'm not usually a crossbody girl, but for some reason, this bag crossbody, I actually enjoy wearing this bag crossbody. So there's that piece of information. So this is a very nice crossbody for me. And since it the strap adjusts, that makes it also pretty nice for other people as well. So I, I wish every brand made 
adjustable straps with the crossbody because when you're larger, your strap needs to be longer so it doesn't get taken away with your size. Like because I'm bigger, like my body's going to consume most of the strap, which is kind of annoying, which is kind of why I don't like wearing crossbody bags. Also because my boobs are big and I think this right here is always annoying to me, but um I do enjoy wearing this one crossbody. So here's what it looks like on me crossbody. And then you can take off the long strap. And then where is the crook of the arm here or on the shoulder like so, like this. So it's just a very cute bag, very Y2K bag. I, I'm completely and totally here for this bag. And I'm completely and totally here for all of Coach's upcoming um, designs and stuff. They've been doing an amazing job. And their bags are still very good quality. And, of course, you get that way better price than, you know, the, the usual luxury bags that I usually review. So, um, for a contemporary brand, I, I really do like Coach's stuff. Like the Calm stuff. I don't like that Coach monogram. I don't, I don't really like that. Um, but I do like their leather pieces and obviously this Sherling bag. So again, I mean, obviously it looks the same, but I'm still showing you guys, you know, the aesthetic of it, I guess. So here's the pink one that I lost the strap to and then I moved and have no idea where it is. But um, here it is. It's still such a cute bag. I don't know why I don't gravitate towards it. I think it's just the color. I think the color pink doesn't really work with my wardrobe very much. So or this color, this shade of pink doesn't work with my wardrobe as much as I thought it would. But I just, I mean, I still really just like the bag. So I will say this one was probably an impulse purchase because I just thought the bag was so cute. Um, but I, I don't really regret it though. I just wish, I need to wear it more though. I really do. So what fits in here? Again, it opens up to this little double section thing we got going um leather line so this is you this is my go-to wallet which doesn't fit in my little purses but this is my favorite wallet to carry um which is the louis vuitton zippy which that actually fits in there very nice i got some lip products lip pencils here um my phone case <laughs> which is always the representative for my phone and then i got this little um <laughs> credit card uh holder for people with ghetto long nails like mine <laughs> and then we got my car keys and my house keys um i don't know where they are right now so that's pretty much what i carry on a day-to-day -day basis that's all i even had in that chanel bag um so oh. and it closes up beautifully so it can fit a full-size wallet if you were to put a card holder in here it will fit even more stuff See, look at me struggling. So this thing is kind of hard to open sometimes. So um, anyway, so there's that. What fits inside. I wouldn't really put too much more than that, to be honest, even though it looks like it could fit more. And I already have, I guess, a few things there. So that's nice to know. Um, so that's pretty much what fits inside. It doesn't fit that much, but it definitely can fit your everyday essentials. So if you were to get this in a, like a, you know, like a black or like a brown. I don't know if they even have brown. I don't know if I've seen brown, but I think they have it in black and like white and like more neutral colors. Um, it's a good everyday bag. It's very, um, fits enough stuff and it has a lot of strap options. So I think it's just in general is a really great handbag and it's a lot more affordable than, you know, a Chanel bag or a Louis Vuitton or whatever, you know, is expensive. So I think Coach is doing a great job and I really do recommend this handbag. So, yeah. All right, guys, that's the end of today's review of the Coach Pillow Tabbies. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like luxury fashion, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned for more content. Have a blessed day. Bye.